we're back on Monday and it is 1237. I got a call from our lovely manager at, I want to say noon. Yeah, it was noon that Aiden got a last minute theatrical audition, a TV audition. Today we have to be at the Wilshire area, um, like 3 or 3.30. 3. So I scrambled around and I got some childcare for Olivia, the nine-year-old, and there is Liam. Say hi. Hi. The four-year-old. Go ahead. I'm four. What? You're four? Yeah. And that's where she sits in the back, and this is where Aiden will be sitting in a little over an hour. As we hot tail it to LA, it should be pretty good going on the way. But I don't know what uh, the going home has in store for us, depending on how fast we get out of there and what kind of accidents and craziness is on the road. So, say bye, talk to you later. Bye, talk to you later. We're going to go to Chick-fil-A for lunch and then we're going to go pick up Aiden and looks like Daddy's going to be home in time to pick up Olivia. So, and our car's leaking oil. Oh, it's leaking oil? Well, we thought it was leaking oil. I don't think it's leaking oil. Yeah, but that's another thing i got to worry about with our fabulous minivan. All right. There we go. We're going to go gun it. Oh, and yeah, it's incredible outside. It's 102. You can see that right there. Insane. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, here comes Aiden. We're at school, and he's coming out a little early to make this. What? Uh, you want some Chick-fil-A? I don't know. Yeah, you're coming out. You got a last minute TV audition. So we're going to hit it up and then we're uh, going to come back. You just have to tell them that you play baseball. You looking at me? Yeah. That you know how to catch and that you did the Under Armour print shoot. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should be pretty easy. Okay? Yeah. Okay, we're off. Wait, I'm coming back to school after? No, no, school's over. But we're going to come back home. Hopefully we'll beat the traffic. Bye till later. Okay, so now we're on the 110 going down. Um, I'm in what is known as the fast track lane because you have to buy this special transponder thing right there in the corner of the car, which you buy and then it will charge you so you can drive carpool lane and not get tra trapped in all of the rest of the traffic. So it's 2.30, it's going pretty smooth, and now I'm going to transition, but there's LA, and uh, we'll touch base very shortly. I made it to the building, and I unfortunately had to take Liam, but this is one of the casting places, it's the theatrical, so there's lots of office space here. And there mm. looks like another boy waiting ahead. So Come we'll on, let's mm. All right, Liam. So, you want to say something? I want to hold it. You want to say something? What? I want to hold it. What do you want to say? Um, I'm going to say one. Yes. Because when I audition. Oh, really? Is it, who is it for? For Aiden. Aiden. All right, Aiden's right there. So you can talk and about baseball. Okay, catch us on the flip side. So here's here's Liam. He's gonna go up the stairs. I have to take him out because he's making a bunch of noise in the audition. I heard Aiden just coming in, so that's good because I have to hot tail at home. And uh, okay, and I have to get home to pick up Olivia by six because my husband called. And I have to um, pick her up at school because he can't do it. So I have to get out of here within a reasonable time to do it. What are you doing? So this is the joys of having more than one kid. And you don't want to disrupt the theatricals because it's more of a calming, you know, the appointment times are specific. So it's just not a chaos as much as commercial auditions. But when you have a cranky four-year-old, all bets are off. He starts getting mad. What happened? Got scared? Okay. Don't throw your car into anything, okay? okay. You can still see there's other kids there. They bring their sibs and all kinds of stuff. 